Tomoni presents drones. Ambulance drone could help save lives faster. A Texas-based design firm has illustrated its idea for an ambulance drone, which could help transport patients faster and more efficiently than regular ambulances or helicopters. The ambulance drone is modeled after a standard quadcopter. It is roughly the size of a compact car. The drone can follow a GPS signal or be controlled by a pilot. It is able to travel above traffic and other obstacles on the ground, allowing the drone to arrive at its destination faster than regular ambulances. Given its relatively small size, the drone is able to land almost anywhere. There is enough space inside for one patient and a medical worker. It can either travel on autopilot or be controlled by a pilot remotely in the event of difficult takeoffs and landings. A single pilot can also control an entire fleet of ambulance drones remotely. Although the company believes the ambulance drone is a feasible concept, it admits the cost for each device could be in the million dollar range. Drones could save lives faster than paramedics can. Researchers in Sweden have tested using drones to deliver automated external defibrillators to those suffering cardiac arrest. In many cases, patients are too far away from hospitals to seek immediate treatment, and drones could be a faster way to help them. An automated external defibrillator, also known as an AED, is a portable device that sends an electric shock to the heart in order to restore a normal rhythm in the event of sudden cardiac arrest. Swedish researchers attached an AED to an eight-rotor drone, which has autopilot and GPS functions. The device was also painted in a fluorescent color, similar to ambulances, to help people visually locate it. A person who suffers a cardiac arrest requires immediate medical treatment, as their chances of survival are reduced by 10% for every minute they don't receive CPR and defibrillation. The drone is able to deliver the AED in just over five minutes, compared to the average standard ambulance delivery time of 22 minutes. According to the American Heart Association, more than 350,000 cardiac arrests take place in the U.S. each year, but only about 10% of patients survive. Researchers hope to save untold numbers of lives by reducing the delivery time of AEDs. Underwater drone revolutionizes fishing. Technology company Power Vision has unveiled a drone that can help users see what's going on underwater and may increase efficiency in fishing. The Power Ray drone has an onboard camera and an optional add-on fish finder sonar. The devices can be used together or separately. The drone can dive to a depth of 98 feet, while the sonar can track fish about 131 feet below the drone. A blue tinted light is designed to lure fish, while a drop function allows the user to deliver the bait whenever he or she wants. Users can watch the footage captured by the drone via their cell phones, which allows them to better determine when to reel in the fish. Some argue that it's not fishing if you can actually see underwater, but pre-orders for the drone will begin in February, and sales of the device will probably better reflect how many people find the technology appealing. British police are big fans of drones. A police force in the UK is set to launch the country's first 24-hour drone unit after completing successful trials of the technology. Devon and Cornwall police began testing DJI Inspire One drones in 2015. This model has a 360-degree rotating camera that takes HD photos and video. The pilot of the drone can watch live video on a screen on the drone's remote control. The DJI Inspire 1 can reach a maximum flight altitude of 4,500 meters and has a range of 5 kilometers from its pilot. On a full battery charge, the drone has a maximum flight time of 18 minutes. Among several uses for the drones, police believe they can help pursue suspects and record images at the scene of road traffic accidents. Devon and Cornwall police said drones can capture footage in hard-to-reach areas, such as woodland to find a missing person. According to London's Metropolitan Police Force, the cost of operating a police helicopter is 850 pounds per flying hour. Drones could help the police cut costs because the devices cost as little as a thousand pounds each. The only operating cost is recharging the battery. As many as 21 British police forces are reportedly experimenting with drones.
The devices have been used by police to watch over the Duchess of Cambridge on a royal visit, and even to chase a lynx that escaped from a zoo. Singapore tests out delivery by drone. Aircraft manufacturer Airbus is set to trial a drone delivery service, which if successful, could potentially lead to tests of flying passenger taxis. A new drone delivery service to be tested in Singapore next year will see drones being used to deliver parcels. During the trial, drones will navigate a network of delivery and pickup points across the National University of Singapore campus. These drones, also known as octocopters because of their eight blades, will fly automated on routes. These routes will be flown inside interconnecting sky corridors throughout the campus. Upon arrival, the drone will unload the parcel automatically and its recipient will be sent a delivery notification. Airbus says if the drone testing is shown to be safe, it may potentially increase acceptance of passenger flight testing in Singapore. The company has been developing an electric flying vehicle named the City Airbus for several years with the aim of reducing traffic congestion in cities. Airbus believes that people will use vehicles such as these in the future and that they could be operated via transport providers such as Uber. Would you take a ride in a flying taxi? Sound off below and let us know. No more photography duty for astronauts. The Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency has developed a cute floating camera drone that can lighten the workload of astronauts on the International Space Station. The Int Ball weighs 1 kilo and has a diameter of 15 centimeters. It uses the existing drone technology, miniaturized altitude control sensors and actuators in an all-in-one module. The Int Ball arrived at the International Space Station last month and is remotely controlled by the JAXA Tsukuba Space Center from the ground. In the future, the Int Ball is expected to take over photography duties from the space crew and will be able to operate autonomously. At the moment, astronauts on the ISS spend around 10% of their time just taking photos and videos. With this camera drone's help, they now perhaps will have a bit more personal time in space. You can carry the selfie drone in your purse. A UK company has launched a selfie drone called the Air Selfie, which is so small it can fit inside a smartphone case. The Air Selfie is stored inside an integrated cover that also fits inside a smartphone. The drone is controlled by an app and can fly up to 20 meters high. Autonomous hovering would take over after reaching a designated height. Users must then use the app to take pictures or videos. The drone is recharged when it is placed back inside the case. The project is being supported by a Kickstarter campaign that has already amassed over half a million euros in pledges. Dutch company uses drones as wind turbines. Now here's something you don't see every day. Traditional wind turbines gather most wind energy at the tip of their blades. Dutch firm Ampex Power instead uses a drone tethered to an offshore platform to gather wind energy at higher altitudes. According to ReNews, the concept airborne wind energy system is deployed on floating platforms. From there, the drone would fly to an altitude of 500 meters where it creates electricity from high-altitude winds. The system can operate at depths of between 60 and 300 meters and is kept in place by six mooring cables attached to the ocean floor. A power cable runs from the platform to land. The company says the Energy Center for Research of the Netherlands calculated a virtual AWE wind farm operating near the east coast of Scotland to cost 137 euros per megawatt hour. Ampex Power says this is cost competitive against other floating applications. Last year, wind energy generated 11.6% of Europe's electricity. The EU is aiming to have renewables power a quarter of the bloc's energy consumption by 2030. Weaponizable satellites? A UK based space company is planning to launch satellite servicing drones by 2020, but experts warn these could double as space weapons. Space Drone is an 800-pound spacecraft that can dock onto aging satellites running low on fuel and help stabilize and maneuver them. The drones remain attached for up to five years before then moving the satellite to a graveyard orbit at the end of its life. Experts believe the space drones can be used to clean up Earth's orbit by directing space debris into the atmosphere to burn up. 
Theoretically, the drones could also be weaponized and used to hijack active satellites and push them out of orbit. The company that makes the space drone says any technology has the potential to be abused and claims they can prevent this by retaining control and simply offering their services. Flying drone taxi takes off. Drones are everywhere these days, and soon, flying drone taxis might be too. At the end of January, Airbus Silicon Valley carried out their first successful test of their autonomous aircraft. The all-electric drone flew at a height of 16 feet for 53 seconds by itself. According to Engadget, Airbus hopes to create a network of autonomous flying drones. The Verge reports that Airbus aims to create a production-ready drone by 2020. Would you ride one?